We've all played walking simulators, but what if we took that walking experience and made it vertical? But just like Death Stranding turned the walking part of the walking simulator into an interactive experience, this game turned the climbing part of a climbing simulator into a brand new finger-cramping adventure. It's time for Jusant. Dive into the role of an individual with more upper body strength than any human has or will ever have as they make their way across the desert to this giant stone pillar reaching into the clouds with some kind of little shit in their backpack. You'll soon take to the face of this tower of abandoned seaside ruins as you reach tie-offs to conveniently place safety hooks and start searching for handholds. Each step in your ever-upward exploration will require you to squeeze and release the triggers of your controller like you're firmly grasping those handholds with your own well-trained video game fingers in real life. You won't just be climbing a perfectly placed path to the glory of areas higher than the one you started from, though. You'll also have to leap across gaps to cling to tiny rocks like a seasoned ninja warrior and Spider-Man swing across cliff faces to make your way to the next outcropping of nautical detritus where you can read random letters everyone decided weren't important enough to keep. Here you'll learn that the water left in a massive jusant and they decided they should probably leave with it. Eventually you'll ascend to an area with so much non-vertical ground that the long-lost residents decided to build a giant tower upon it. One that you can climb to the top to encounter the perfect place to blow a big ass horn and reveal that this little shit in your backpack is actually the cutest little shit in the world and will now join you in making a bunch of noises that can be used to revive plants. Now you and your awakened little shit can continue your journey with the power to grow plants anytime it screams and meditate on your head to give you the best possible directions almost providing the vague indication of the general area you might need to go. With this, you're given the freedom to venture forth into the abandoned caverns and chambers of the past, discovering other exciting remnants like conch shells that sound like people that left, massive glowing paintings, and the excitement of piles of rocks that you can pile rocks onto, for fun. As you shimmy across narrow ledges and cling to living rocks that march across these endless walls like gigantic hardened ants, you might think you're in danger of falling, but leaping across gaps from two-inch finger holds on an impossibly high edifice has never been safer. Thanks to your iron will and sure-footed nature, you can't even move off the edge of a platform without first being tethered to the wall with an unbreakable rope. The same bond that will take you and your cute little shit upside, inside, and all around this gigantic deserted pillar of sea garbage and onto the mysterious goal at its summit. Jusant is a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. I'm not sure if it was the trigger-centric controls or the methodical gameplay, but I couldn't help but think of Death Stranding while playing this. You don't really have any of the threats or danger from that game, but you're still focused on getting from A to B in a slow, deliberate way that's rewarding when you get to a place of safety. Jusant delivers one of those silent stories that's told visually and it carries that visual conveyance over to the explanation of where you need to go and what you need to do, at least until it doesn't. The show-don't-tell system can be really appealing until you're looking for the next step in your climb and the rock that it appears to be is just a decoration. Then sometimes the game forgets that mantra and tells you exactly what's going on mechanically and it's a bit jarring. Yet there was more than one occasion where it seemed like there were several paths and it wasn't clear if I would be backtracking or finding my way to one of the various collectibles sprinkled throughout the game. However, even with that minor annoyance, Jusan is an immensely enjoyable game that manages to retain a bit of a challenge even with the straightforward walking simulator styling. With just enough puzzles, platforming, and exploration, you get a solid amount of fun gameplay to go along with a simple yet fulfilling story, which is why it's getting the abbreviated score of good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to like this video and check out more abbreviated reviews.